Bible Educator. Hola! Hi learners! Welcome to Remote Learning. Today, we are on our first episode of Agriculture Grade 6. I am Koi and our sign interpreter is Velma Akinyi. And joining me is our amazing teacher, Mr. Mohia. Mr. Mohia? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. So please tell us, what are we learning today? Today, we are learning about something that makes formation of things. Formation of things? Yes. Okay, what is that? Okay, so we have the earth. Okay. When you talk about the earth, mm -hmm. what covers the earth? The ground. Yes, what covers the ground? What do you call that material that covers the ground? Soil. It's called soil. Uh -huh. So very good. So let's start with an amazing fact about soil. Okay. We have the carrying away of soil from one place to another, mm -hmm. we call that soil erosion. erosion. Okay. This is the carrying away of the top fertile soil uh -huh. from one place to, to another. another. Okay. So for example, I have a point B, a uh -huh. point A, uh -huh. and a point B. B. So the soil is removed from here, or is moved from point A mm -hmm. to point B. B. It was initially at point A, and okay. it went to a point B. B. Okay. So there is a transportation somewhere. Uh -huh. And there is a place where it is going. So how did that happen? It was carried away from this place to that place by something. What is that thing? Tell me. Who do you think can carry away soil from one place to another? Um, okay. Water. Mm -hmm. We have water. Wind. We have wind. And you'll tell me the rest later on. <laughs> okay. But first I want to know. What do we call this point B? That place, mm -hmm. we call it a deposition site. The place where the soil is deposited, mm -hmm. we call it a deposition site. site. Site is a place. Okay. So that place, we call it a deposition site. So the process of putting that soil there, uh -huh. it is transported and it was deposited there. Okay. The process is called deposition. Okay. And the place is called a deposition site or Very place. Good. Yes, a okay. deposition site. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. So that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Soil erosion is the carrying away of the top fertile soil from one place to, to another. another. Okay, so hold on. When you say top Fertile soil. Mm -hmm. What the, do you mean by top fertile soil? The keyword fertile, fertile soil. Okay. Because you're going to tell me uh. what are the effects of lacking this fertility in the soil. Okay. So, when you talk about the top fertile soil, mm -hmm. remember we have the ground. Mm -hmm. It has layers mm -hmm. of soil. Mm -hmm. The top uh, part, mm -hmm. we call it the humus. The humus. Yes. Okay. Because this is where we have the organic matter. The organic matter is the one that causes manure or forms manure. How does it form manure though? When it rots and decays. When it rots and decays? Yes. Okay. The organic matter, it's mm -hmm. organic because it can, it is alive, mm -hmm. it can live, mm -hmm. it can die, mm -hmm. and it can decay. So if it can live, it can die? Yes. And Anything that decay. lives can die. How is it that it lives? First of all, let's begin with living. How does it how how does it live? It breathes in and it breathes, breathes out. out. There is the exchange. Okay. When you talk about this organic matter, mm -hmm. organic matter is made up of dead plants. We have plants. The plant remains. Mm -hmm. Let's say for example, you haven't said uh, you harvested maize. Mm. Those remaining leaves, parts of the leaves, once you have gotten your maize come away, the plant, the plant itself, you just leave it in the chamber. Yeah, we do. Yes. So it just dries up and, and starts decays. to decay. Okay. It becomes humus. 
Ah, uh, so that is the first stage. That is the first stage. Okay. So when you talk about soil erosion, mm -hmm. it is carrying away this top part. Mm -hmm. So it is being carried from here mm -hmm. to another place. Okay. So if it's carrying away the top part, you see it's carrying away the humus. Mm -hmm. And that is there. The organic organic part, part, which is the most fertile part. Okay. So leaving the ground bare All right. and fertile. All right. So soil erosion is the carrying away of the top fertile soil. Mm -hmm. All right. From one place to another. To another. And the another, the another quote yes. unquote, uh -huh. is the deposition site. Exactly. All right. Uh huh. Okay. You're good. Yes. I we continue. Mm -hmm. I asked about. The things that transport this soil from one place to another. To another. Yes. And you give me water. Yes. You also give me wind. Yes. So we have water. Water transports soil from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. I will not agree, nor will disagree. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Because we are going to see why. Okay. So when you talk about water, it carries away the soil from one point to, to another. another. Yes. How does it do that? Um, well, by flowing. Mm -hmm. It has That's to nice. flow, right? It has to flow. Yeah, to it carry to flow. it away. To carry it away. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That is nice. Uh -huh. How does wind affect them? And I've never seen wind flowing. <laughs> well, yeah, wind. <laughs> yes, wind does not flow. Yeah, wind doesn't flow, uh -huh. but it carries. Uh -huh. There is um, something we call the wild winds. Uh -huh. And usually, to my people, uh -huh. we have a very different name for it. Uh -huh. But all I know is that it creates a spiral uh -huh. that carries it's, soil it wills yes it wills uh -huh. and it just carries from this point you can literally see it move you can see it coming. yeah you can see it move like from this place to the other so you can yes. even run away from it yes you can okay yes can it carry you well unless it's it's a hurricane so mm. no <laughs> so it's, it, can't carry it can be a small one it can be a small one uh -huh. yes but you can see it yes because of the dust particles. Yes. And where do we get these dust particles? Mm -hmm. From, From the, the top the soil. soil. Exactly. Okay. 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 So you see how wind affects? Yes. So we have, mm -hmm. they are called agents of soil erosion. Okay. And how many agents do we have? The first one you told us, water. Water. Okay. The second one? Wind. Wind. Okay. When it is willing, when it's blowing. Yes. When the wind is blowing, yeah. it blows away. Yes. The dust particles and that top part of the ground of yes. the soil. Mm -hmm. Then we have animals. So how do animals carry soil? When you talk about animals, uh. remember, I, repeat after me, I, I am, am an animal. What? Yes, you are. I am an animal. Yes, you okay, are. I am an animal. So you're going to mm -hmm. learn that one later on mm -hmm. in science mm -hmm. and get to know why you are classified as an animal. Mm -hmm. Because we have two living things. Okay. Plants and animals. So which one are you? Are you a plant? Well, clearly, I don't have leaves. I'm an animal. <laughs> exactly. So you become a, you're an animal. <laughs> an so animal, when you talk yes. about animals, yeah. we have, let's say, for example, you have cows. Okay. And you're taking them out to graze. Mm -hmm. So they are going to follow a certain path. Ah. So as they are walking, and let's say you have a hundred cows. Okay. So what will happen to the ground they are passing on? Well, wana chimba chimba wakitembea. Exactly. Okay. They are going to make, they stamp, they make the soil lose, yes. the soil splashes, dust they all over. They carry the soil away. Exactly. Oh, that is, wow. That Have is you ever seen a dog running? Yes. What does it do? It creates uh, patterns on the ground that lift the soil from the ground. Very good. Yes. You usually find its pose once it hits the ground. It detaches the soil from it. Yes. And when it's taking a corner, oh, it bends. Yes, it does. And it just pushes the soil away. Yes. You see? So that is erosion. That is erosion. That is the soil okay, is being okay. moved from point one to point B. To point B. Okay. You good? Yes. You're getting the hang of what soil I erosion am. is now? Thank you. Very good. Mm. So we have the third one, mm -hmm. the fourth one, mm -hmm. that is human activities. Okay, human activities. Mm -hmm. How do human activities cause soil erosion? Okay. You are an animal yes. as well as a human. Tell me, what are some of the things humans do involving soil? Well, we walk on the ground, so yeah, Good. that's direct contact. To that the soil. is one. Yes. Walking. Yes. When you are walking, yeah, you can you find yourself maybe you are walking on an off road, uh -huh. you have dust. Yes. That dust mm. has you have gotten it from the soil. Yes. Two, as you are walking, uh -huh. maybe it is muddy. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. what happens? The mud sticks on your shoes, clothes. Then you go somewhere. Yeah. You have to scrape it off. Yes. That is erosion. That oh, is erosion. Okay, okay, okay. So in short, erosion is the carrying away of soil from one point to the other. To the other. Wow. Another human activity. Okay. We all live in houses. Mm. These houses are maybe made of stones. Mm -hmm. Where did those stones come from? The quarry. Um, How did it come from that quarry? They were dug. They were dug. Yeah. Remember, we are talking about the ground. Mm -hmm. The ground is a covering. Yes. And I also said mm -hmm. the earth has layers. Mm. So those stones are part of the soil. Okay. So those stones are carried from that point mm -hmm. to where they are going to be used. Mm -hmm. The soil and uh, the, uh, the stones. Mm -hmm. You put stone one, stone two. Mm -hmm. Between you put something else. When they mm -hmm. are constructing, there is stone one, mm -hmm. stone two. Yeah. They put a mixture of sand and cement. Yes. Where do we get the sand? It is mined as well. Yes. Remember... The three types of soil are, uh, soil that uh -huh. we have, uh -huh. we have sand, yes. we have clay, yes. and we have loam. So the sand is still a type of soil. So when you talk about mining, okay. you mine that soil, mm. you carry it from wherever it comes from mm -hmm. to another place mm -hmm. that is soil erosion. Okay. You are carrying away the soil. Okay. So your activity mm. of carrying it away. So, guys, just know you are an agent of soil erosion. Okay? <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Good. So, we have talked about the agents of soil yes. erosion. Mm. We go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Now, I want us to learn something else. Okay. There is a picture in front of us. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at it. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is happening? Or what well, can't you see? I can see a roof. Okay, there's and a I roof. And I can see water. And water. Can you see the same? Mm -hmm. Agents of soil erosion, we talked about water. Water. Right? Mm -hmm. Very good. So, what happens when it rains? Uh, water comes from the sky and hits the ground. Okay. Or the roof. From the ground? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. From heaven to earth. To earth. From up? Down. Okay. Yes. Next thing? Something else? Something else? Okay, so when the water hits the ground... It creates small holes. Mm -hmm. So when it hits the ground, it creates small holes. Yes, it splashes and creates small. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. You can see? Okay, so that's the topmost layer. The topmost layer? Yes. Hit by the soil? Yes. Uh, hit by, by the water, the water droplets? Yes. And what happens? It creates a, a small, maybe tiny, just, but a hole is created either way. A hole is created? Yes. Why is it created? Uh, well, because of the speed. The well, the speed. water comes down, obviously, and boop, creates a hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the hole just appears because of the drops. Hmm, that's interesting. Isn't it? Okay, we are going to see. Okay. Hi. So we have mm -hmm. what happens when the rain droplets hit the ground. You have told me they form holes. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's observe this picture and get to see. Okay. You can see there are these pebbles there. Mm -hmm. There is the blue part. Yes. I'm the guessing that's part, the water. Yes, that's the water, of course. Okay. It has come, hit the ground. Yes. And your hole has been formed. You see the yes. hole? Yes. There is a hole that has been formed. formed. Yes. Then there are particles that are up in the air. Can you see the particles up in the yeah, air? Yes. So it has detached uh -huh. that part of the surface of the soil uh -huh. from its original state. Exactly. Okay. It has, you find, mm -hmm. there's the water droplet hits the ground. Mm. Once it hits the ground, mm -hmm. the soil particles are thrown up in the air. Yes. That is something, another step as well. Mm -hmm. You've talked about a word. There is a word you have used called detachment. Oh, yes, detach. Yes, detachment. Detachment. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you have talked about it has gone up. Yes. From Somewhere to somewhere. Yes. That one we call it transportation. Oh. Transportation. Because mm -hmm. it is moving from point A to point B. B. You are transporting it from here to there. Yes. So there is detachment. Mm. There is 
transportation. transportation. Then from there, okay. there is the third step mm -hmm. where now it is put down. Mm -hmm. It was detached, transported, and it was put down. Yes. The process we called it deposition. Deposition. So this type of erosion mm -hmm. occurs in three steps. Okay. The water droplet hits the ground. Mm -hmm. Once it hits the ground, mm -hmm. once the droplet hits the ground, mm -hmm. it forms a small hole. Yes. Where this soil here detaches mm -hmm. and it is transported somewhere mm -hmm. else. Yes. So there is a detachment, mm -hmm. there is transportation, mm -hmm. and there is Desposition, deposition. Deposition, yes. Where it is deposited mm -hmm. in another area. Okay. So, so, uh, okay. Very good. So, we have said what happens. The water droplet hits the ground. Mm -hmm. There is detachment. Mm -hmm. After that, there is transportation, transportation and deposition. Okay. We have a diagram to illustrate that. Mm. We have the detachment. You can see the transport mm -hmm. and you can see the deposition. deposition. And from that diagram, you can get to see the deposition site mm -hmm. is at the lower part. Okay. So what you're telling me is when it rains and the water comes down, the, the top layer of the soil becomes loose. It becomes And because loose. there's flow of water, then the soil is transported. It is carried away. To a lower level. Exactly. Right? Okay. Okay. So this top part here, mm -hmm. we have our top part. Yes. We have our lower part. Our lower part, yes. So if the soil was detached from here mm. and it was raining, mm. Let's say it's raining. Yes. Where is the water going to flow towards? It's going the to top part or the lower no, part? No, the lower part. Yeah. The water flows down. Yes. Right? Yes. So when the water is flowing down, mm. it is going to carry away. So that's transportation. That is transportation. Yes. So in this type of soil erosion, mm -hmm. there it forms tiny holes and it mm. is usually formed mm. due to droplets. Mm. Due to water? Droplets. droplets. So the key word is droplets. droplets. It is the one. It is formed due to the water droplets. Mm -hmm. Hits the ground, makes the soil loose, mm -hmm. detaches them, and transports, them, yeah. deposits. Okay. Three steps. All right. Good. So from there, mm -hmm. uh, there is a practical I want us to do. Oh, yay! Practical. Are you ready? <laughs> so these are the few things I want us to get. Okay. One, collect a lump of soil. Okay. Yes. Get soil. Put it in a basin. Mm -hmm. Put it somewhere. Now, when you say soil, I could go collect sand. Is it going to have the same effect? Ama, what, what, what do I go collect specifically? Soil. Soil. Sand soil, mm -hmm. clay soil, loam soil. Loam soil. soil. As right. long as it is? Soil. Very good. You heard? Then, mm -hmm. get a bottle of water. Okay. From that, well, with that bottle, mm -hmm. make a tiny hole on mm -hmm. the lid. Okay. Because we want droplets. Mm -hmm. We don't want the whole... Uh, bottle of water pouring mm. down. We mm. want to see the effect of the droplet. Okay. So once you have made the tiny hole on the lid, mm -hmm. pour the water on the soil mm -hmm. and observe what happens. Okay. Yes. So I have a bottle of uh, water. Mm -hmm. Can you show me where to make the, the hole? On the lid. On the lid. Okay, yes. hold on. All right. So this is my bottle of water. Okay. Where do I make the hole exactly? On the lid. Where is the lid? This is the lid. Just make it up. Uh, just a tiny hole above it. So just right in the middle or anywhere. 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 So as I long anywhere as it is going to get mm. to make a droplet. Okay. Yes, when All pouring right. the water, mm. it's going to make a drop. Okay. Good. So we're going to do that practical. Mm -hmm. From there, mm. which are the areas where this erosion occurs? Which are the areas? So I am yes. imagining if erosion needs to happen. Mm -hmm. This erosion yeah. involving droplets. Okay. So in your mind, picture places where you find droplets happening. Okay, so I'm thinking slopey areas. Mm -hmm. My grandmother lives in a very slopey area. Okay. Even flat surface though, like it can actually happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me guide you there. Yes, please. When you talk about this kind of erosion, mm -hmm. remember it's happening due to droplets. Yes. So it can happen anywhere okay be it a flat land mm -hmm. be it a sloppy land. land okay so it can happen anywhere mm -hmm. uh, let me give you a clue mm. next to the house due to the uh, water droplets from the roof of the house when you look at the roof of the house mm -hmm. there are tiny holes that you usually find mm. 
next to the, the house. At the side of the house when it rains. Yes. Yes. That is a kind of this the, the type of er erosion that you're talking about. Okay. So those tiny holes yes. are formed due to this mm. type of erosion. Ah, okay. So where else can we find them? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we can find them when you open a tap. Mm -hmm. When you open a tap. And you don't have a container. So if it goes directly to the soil, then it's definitely a detachment of the topsoil. Very good. Yes. The water hits the ground, mm. splashes. Mm. Once it hits the ground, a hole is uh, dug oh, there, yes. the soil is transported away. Mm -hmm. So another place we can get it mm -hmm. is on the hanging line. When we hang our clothes. When you hang your clothes, it's going to drip droplets. Well, at least not too much soil erosion. Yes. Just, just, you know. Yeah. yeah, but despite it all, it's, it's still, still soil, soil erosion. Soil erosion. Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. So we have open areas mm -hmm. like the field. Mm -hmm. Usually find some of the fields mm -hmm. have no ground cover. Yes. When you talk about ground cover, we are talking about things that cover the ground. Mm -hmm. And especially, not things actually, crops that cover the ground. Okay. In most fields, mm -hmm. there is grass. grass. Yes. Most fields, there is grass. Mm -hmm. Even, um, for example, you have ever gone to the national parks. Mm -hmm. In some of the national parks, there is a lot of grass. Yes, Despite there their trees, yes. there is a lot of grass and it's beautiful. Grass. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So grass acts like a ground cover. Cover. The ground cover. It's covering the, okay. the ground. Yes. So if we imagine now there is none. Mm. Well, that would be a lot of soil erosion. Exactly. Okay. So it happens there because those droplets will hit, 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 mm. hit so much. Mm. So some of the effects mm -hmm. of this soil erosion, mm -hmm. we find there will be tiny holes yes. on the ground yes. because the whole the water droplets formed are, the holes. They form the holes. Yes. From there, mm -hmm. the ground will become uneven. Yes, true. Due to the holes. Mm -hmm. If these holes are there, mm. what will happen? Well, the ground would definitely become uneven. No, imagine walking on such a field. Yeah. You'll be walking limping. Yes. Side to side. Yeah. Big and not because you are uh, b just because of the ground. Yes. Then we have another one. We have the potholes. Yes. The potholes that you find on the road. Mm. What do you think cost them? Well, you um, if you ask me, when it rains, first of all, there is mm -hmm. water retained on the ground, mm -hmm. especially on the tarmac roads. Mm -hmm. And when there is water retained, then it makes the top ground very loose. But how did it come to have that hole? Because, the th because there was formation. There was um, repeated action that formed the pothole because Which of the action? water droplets. Rain. The action of... Mm -hmm. detachment, detachment, transportation, and, and deposition. So the road was very smooth yes. when it was constructed. Yes. But due to the raining, yes. the water droplets mm. hit the ground. Mm -hmm. Once they hit the ground, mm. tiny holes are made. Yes. And since the hole is not moving, mm. the it keeps on digging. It keeps on digging. It's a continuous thing. That then happens. humans come, still walk on the same. Yes. Animals come. Water, Cars, <laughs> vehicles come yes. doing the same. True. So you find the portal mm. ends up to become bigger and bigger and, and bigger. making transport or even moving of the vehicles in that road mm. so difficult. difficult. Like, mm. That kind of a road which we have so many potholes, mm. we call it an unroadworthy. Okay. Because is it supposed to be a road actually? It's, it can't be a road if it has potholes. But our government is good. It is creating more roads. Yes, it is. And it is even mm -hmm. tamaking mm -hmm. those roads that have never seen tamak true. for a very long time. Very true. So from there, mm -hmm. I want to explain what we have just learned. Mm. We have talked about detachment, transportation, and deposition. Position. These three steps are the steps of the soil erosion mm. we refer to as splash. Okay. Erosion. Okay. Splash. Erosion. Splash erosion. Okay. So when you talk about splash erosion, mm -hmm. splash erosion occurs when water droplets hit the ground mm -hmm. and disperse the soil. Okay. We talked about the holes. Yes. These holes, mm -hmm. they are formed due to the water droplets hitting the ground, mm -hmm. making the soil loose. Yes. And that detaching. Is detachment. Detachment. Yes. And transporting it somewhere mm -hmm. else. The dispersion that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. 
So we have the transportation. transportation. And when it is transported, there is, is deposition. deposition. Yes. And that, those three steps mm. are the steps that are involved in this type of cell erosion known as splash, splash erosion. erosion. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Mohia. And yes. this splash erosion, mm -hmm. it was caused because of water. Yes. Right? Yes. And mostly rain. Mm. Since it was caused because of rain, mm. let's call it rain drop erosion. Very good. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Muhia. We have learned about splash erosion, which can also be called rain drop erosion. Now, do you have an assignment for us? Yes, of course. Okay. Splash erosion, mm -hmm. it is caused by the three steps. Okay. Detachment. Mm -hmm. Transportation. Deposition. Deposition. Good. Now, from your assignment, mm -hmm. with the help of your guardian, mm -hmm. your teacher, mm -hmm. or even your parent, mm -hmm. use the digital devices mm -hmm. and find out how we can prevent. Okay. That is one. Mm -hmm. Prevent. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. control. Okay. The splash erosion. erosion. Okay. I right, thank you so much, Mr. Mohia. Today we have learned about splash erosion, which is also known as rain drop erosion. And we've heard about our assignment with the help of our teacher or our parent. We need to use our devices, our digital devices to find out how we can prevent and control these erosions. We have, however, come to the end of our lesson today. This has been agriculture for grade six and I have been your host, Wangoi Dirango. This has been our teacher, Mr. Muhia, and our sign language interpreter was Velma Akini. Until next time, it's goodbye.